Mr. L. Coming at you. Here to talk about one of the movies, man. Actually, a trilogy of movies. I'm not a movie type. My ex fiance was a serious movie buff. But I did not care for movies on her level. Yeah, she did put me on The Godfather. You feel me? I was like in 2011, 2012. She actually put me on the Godfather series, one, two, and three. I think Godfather one is one of the most incredible movies in American history, in the history of the world. She also put me on uh, Scarface. I haven't seen Scarface until she put me on it. Incredible film. Uh, Rocky. She put me on the Rocky series. I didn't watch Rocky. Like I'm saying, I wasn't a big movie guy. You know, I, I used to like uh, House Guests, Sinbad, and um, Coming to America. That was my type of movies. So I, I wasn't, I'm not a real big movie dude. So that being said, other than those movies I named, I'm, I am absolutely a James Bond fan. Uh, the, the the actor who's in it right now, his name escapes me. The one who's the current James Bond, uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah, him. I'm a big fan of his and James Bond character. He does it impeccably. Real alpha male type shit. Um, shit. Pierce Bronson. Rising and wasn't that bad either. Back in Golden Eye, but that was kind of before my time to be watching rated all movies. I had good parents, you dig? If we watch rated all movies, they do do this shit for nudity or drugs and killing. Or close my eyes during, or my ears during curse words. When they start cussing, motherfucker, that motherfucker, all that shit. So. That being said, I am going to talk to you about the John Wick trilogy so far. One, two, and three. So needless to say, I, I like James Bond. I like the Bond, uh, Matt Damon and the Bond Supremacy series. And I like John Wick. And probably that same order. One, two, and three. I don't really care for movies other than that. You know. The Rock, I don't care for The Rock that much. Avengers, Superman type shit, Batman, I don't care. You know, drama, comedies, I don't care. That shit don't be funny to me. I've yet to laugh at a Kevin Hart joke. I mean, really, I'm, I'm not talking about like, ha, 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 ha. You know, I did a ha, ha, okay, ha. But like the people who be all, oh. Oh, oh shit, that man got me laughing. Oh, fuck, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart this, Cat Williams that, Mike Epps this. Man, fuck, fuck no, them dudes are not funny to me. So, back to the, what I, the topics about uh, John Wick. So, my ex fiance, yes, and she put me on John Wick. But the dates don't. Line up correctly, but I think they were in pre-production. She was talking about how great a film it was gonna be. So we then we broke up in 2013, and it, I think the movie dropped in 2014. So um, basically, I rented the movie from Google and YouTube and watched one, two, and I went to the movies to the show to watch part three. Um, I've seen one before, but I had to rewatch it. It was all right. It had good parts. I give it a seven out of ten. So basically, uh, what I like most about John Wick, cause he's like a type of person who doesn't talk a lot. And I want to say the word is laconic or laconic. Doesn't talk too much. Just handles business and avenges. His uh, puppy's death and his cause, his cause, uh, carjacking. So um, this man is released 
a relentless fucking rampage over all the Russians in this damn town. Shit was ill as a motherfucker. I was like, damn, they showing this man busting people heads and shit, head shots, and he just couldn't be stopped. John Wick, bro, just just cut, just can't be stopped. So the Russians threw all they could at him. He was able to make it to the final boss on some Super Mario Brothers shit. Fucking fought all them Goombas to get the Bowser. No lot of you niggas see King Cooper and Cooper and shit, nigga, his name is Bowser, my brothers. So, oh my goodness, the man got through everything. You know it's Hollywood and shit. He ain't, his main character not gonna die. But uh, it was exciting to see that man overcome all this shit to uh, finally beat the Russian. Um, so part two, I think it was the Russian kingpin who was going against the uh, going against John Wick to avenge his brother's death. Uh, Still over a puppy. Alright. Now there's some red pill wisdom in here somewhere. What am I about to see? He did it for his wife who he loved. And that was her parting gift, was her puppy. And they killed the puppy in cold blood in his face. And he avenged that. It was something he loved. Because he was a hitman in this underworld that got. Very complicated and intricate during the course of the series. But, man, part two, uh, he, Vigo, the Russian mobster in the first one, his brother tried to avenge his death. And he killed all their ass, too. Then today, the motherfucker had the high order, they call it the, the high table, I believe. I got a bad fucking memory, man. I gotta stop drinking or something. I don't remember shit no more. Anyway, um, this motherfucker was riding a horse through New York. The shit was so cool, bro. It was killing people on the bike. Everybody was after him. He fought. I think Keanu Reeves did all his own stunts. Then, like, you know, show a cut where they weren't showing his face. It looked like he did all his, damn. Uh, he did all of his own stunts. That was very impressive. It made me do bust out 20 burpees in this motherfucker. I wasn't going to work out tonight. But that old motherfucker looking good. He got the, the fucking jawline shit going for him. High cheekbones. You know what I'm saying? He older than me. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Inspirational. So John Wick. In a way, it's similar to Breaking Bad. And I'm going to make this little short analogy. Walter White from Breaking Bad was someone... Well, Walter White was depicted as someone who would go as far as possible to make sure his children are, um, are okay. You know, the authorities, the law be damned. He was going to make sure his children were all right. Using his own specific skill set, which was chemistry, order to sell meth. And the adventures with Jesse Pinkman. So, uh, John Wick used his skill as a very high level hitman, probably the highest level of hitman. To exact revenge on his enemies. It's damn good. Three was the best thought out one. Thought part one didn't have a real plot. It's a lot of just killing. I've read other reviews that had said that, and I agree with that. But um, 
Man. Fucking John Wick. Go see y'all one, two, and three. And they got spoilers in here. Sorry. But, um, looks like they don't have a number four. I can't fucking wait. I'm at a week to what, 2021 or some shit. Yeah, 2014, 2017, and then 2019. So you're two or three years between 21 and 22. We have to wait for that motherfucker. All right, y'all. Be cool, man. Hope y'all go see John Wick Part 3. Watch all three of them so you can know what the fuck going on. What a great trilogy. Now, this is coming from a, a nine movie man. I'm not the movie man around the block selling bootleg movies. And I'm not the one who watches, but I, I watch that. James Bond, The Bond, uh, Bond Identity Guys series, and John Wick. Alright, y'all, like, comment, subscribe.